YouTube, Eric DIY with another review for you. Today we're going to review the Hydro Wireless Electricity Monitoring System, which is basically a real-time electricity monitoring unit. It tells you how much energy you're using on circuits or in your house, and that all depends on where you install it. So the Hydro Electricity Monitor System, they have two different units, okay? One is the Hydro Home Electricity Monitor, which basically has just two sensors, uh, a one all-in-one -one module, a power supply, and then you have to connect it with Ethernet cable right to your router or network access to your internet. Uh, the one that we're going to review is the Hydro Home Wireless Electricity Monitor. It's basically the same thing, except it has a gateway module, which is basically the unit plugs into your router or your internet through Ethernet, but it uh, communicates wirelessly with the home sensor module and sends the data that way. They also both have free monitoring, so that way you can monitor your electric usage. And again, there's many different ways of doing this. And we're just gonna go for the install, and we'll see how it goes from there. The first step to install is just to get to your electric panel, and you're gonna have to open that up. Uh, luckily for me, we have an access door here with all our cable uh, connections, and I already have power there for the actual module. Um, you're going to need power to power up the module that connects to the readers, the sensors there, to send that wirelessly to your gateway. So this is one of the sensors, and you get two of them. And what you have to do is you have to look for your main wire coming into the house, which is right there for me, that black and that red one. Notice that they have shielding on them, but you still got to be really careful here. You are uh, dealing with voltage here that would be deadly and if you're not sure about doing this then you want to hire an electrician someone a professional electrician but uh, it's pretty s simple as long as you're careful and you know what you're doing all you do is you put the sensor around this insulated main wire and you just lock it down so that it clips in and then you can leave it there like that so we're going to put one more on the other side and i'll show you uh, what it looks like and that's what it looks like with both modules installed. Again, just be really careful. And then we're gonna hook up these wires from the modules to the sensor. That's gonna send the wireless signal to the gateway. All right, so I have the two sensors in and I was able to route them through a hole in the box to go right on the outside and down into this nice little TV cable uh, area where I can plug in the sensor here, which will send the signal upstairs to the gateway, which will be connected to the router through Ethernet. This is the wireless sensor module, and we know that because it has only three holes. It has one for the power, and then you hook up both of the sensors that you have hooked up to the wires in this thing. And this is going to send a wireless signal to the gateway upstairs, which is connected to the router. And there's the wireless sensor. Uh, it has the two modules connected through it, into it, and it has a power cable, which is just plugged into this GFCI outlet. Yeah, so we just have to install the gateway and then we should be seeing how much we're using. So this is the gateway, which looks like the other wireless monitor, but it has an Ethernet cable right there and it has a power adapter that goes in there. And you just hook up this to your router and then you'll be all set and you're just going to go on the website and sign up for an account so that you can stop monitoring your electric usage. Alright, and there's one last step. This is the quick start guide, by the way, where it describes everything I just did. But uh, the last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create a My Hydro account. And pretty much you just go online to my.hydro.com. You know, create a login and password. And then you can add the devices to the serial numbers, which you can find on the back of each one. And then finally, you just log in and you can view your energy consumption. So when adding devices, you can go to Add Device and Search Local Network. And as long as it finds it, it'll set up both your devices, which are right here for me. And then finally you hit done and it just takes you right to the energy screen and it shows you maximum minimums. Again, I just put this on right now. I have to change the current rate. Uh, you look at your energy bills, it gives you a, a current rate minus 22 cents a kilowatt hour. So that's gonna be wicked cheap compared to uh, what it would be at 10 cents. It has a bunch of options. Cost, consumption, house building. So these are things that you can do. And uh, let's go right to cost and it'll show you how much you have spent on electricity, but again, I have to configure this. So once you configure that, we'll take a look at it again. So as you get setting this thing up, basically the menu's right here. They have uh, user details, 
uh, sites. Uh, basically, you can put in your home address and latitude and longitude just to let them know where you are. Devices are the actual things that you just installed. Rates, to select the rate, I had to change mine to 21.3 cents kilowatt hour. Uh, that comes from estimating all my bills. I keep track of that already. And then it has an awesome manual and support, but if you click on the manual, it opens up a PDF, which basically tells you everything you need to know, how to sign in, how to sign out, how to configure everything. So uh, it would take too long to go through all this, but it shows you everything that you need to know right now. One extra bonus of the My Hydro is it actually works with Amazon Echo. So I'm going to try the My Hydro with Alexa really fast. So you go to the Amazon Alexa app, and then you're going to search for Hydro. And there it is right there. It says My Hydro Electricity Info. I already have it installed, so it says the things that you want to try to see right here. Alexa, ask My Hydro for current demand. Electricity 008 to 0875 is using 810 watts. You can also ask for the highlights. Alexa, ask my hydro for today's highlights. Electricity 008 to 0875 is 0% above its daily average. It is using 810 watts with a recent decrease of 46 watts. And finally, we'll do one more command. We'll say, Alexa, ask my hydro for the last change. Electricity 008 to 0875 had a recent decrease of 46 watts. So as you can see, it's perfectly usable with the Alexa. And basically, you know, it just give you your energy usage at, at any moment's notice. Alexa, thank you. My pleasure. So to complete my review of the Nidro, I just wanted to show you after a couple of days of use what it looks like. They estimate your electric bill, they tell you the bill to date, um, the current rate, this and that. This is called Highlights, by the way, and it has all these menu options here. You can have a highlight, you can have live demand, which shows you live demand on one sensor and then the other. You can do a summary, you know, summarize over a 24 hour period what's happening with your energy when it was used the most. Um, you can compare before and after. So, it also has this thing for phantom energy. It says the minimum demand in the past 24 hours is 302 watts. It also has some insights. This is kind of cool. I mean, you know, it's just something that's interesting. It says how much energy you use. We could travel 30 miles in an electric vehicle based on the average of all the electricity we use. The CO2 is about 12 pounds of carbon dioxide. So, those are pretty cool things. They compare it to all these things phone chargers, coffee, light bulbs, natural gas. Overall, the most important things I find though are the highlights, which shows you at a moment's notice how much watts your house is using, and also the live demand, which shows you, you know, one port and then the other, which one's using what. And with the highlights, actually, you see this little dash right here, it'll actually show you how much it went down or up in watts. So if you turn something on or off, you can kind of judge how much it costs or how much energy it's using to turn it on or off. Overall, my Hydro has been an awesome product. Uh, it's also mobile friendly in the fact that this website, if you go on a mobile phone on this website, my.hydro.com, my you make your login and it'll have the same information but it'll have a layout for a mobile phone on the web browser. And the final part of my review is to show you what the website looks like on mobile and as you can see if they have a mobile specified site, which is very easy to navigate, here's your highlights button and it looks just like what it does on the regular computer. So you can actually take this mobile, it doesn't have to always be on a computer. Live demand. Summary, comparing, uh, estimating your bill, and reports. So overall, the Hydro is an awesome system to uh, gauge the energy usage in the house. I've used it the past couple of days, and I, I plan on leaving it, basically, because it's just an excellent product. If you would like to buy the Hydro, Please look at the link in the description. You'll be helping out the Eric DIY channel as well as purchasing a great product on Amazon. And as always, I just want to say thank you for watching and have a pleasant day. As always, if you like this video, found it useful, please subscribe. And if you have a product that you would like reviewed, please contact Eric by emailing him at eric5150diy at gmail.com. Have a great day.